guys, never hear from Drake Wing Gamers. Have you knew me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon? Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Dawn Chorus Lakes Path. So, guys, let's go ahead and jump right back into it, shall we? Please sit back and enjoy it for the next 18 minutes for entertaining you. Let's jump right in. Alarm Chen, you are up and let's go. Alright. <clears throat> you know I don't drink. I brought some lemonade with me. And how about you, Carvin? Uh, a beer for me, too. A bottle would be nice, thank you. A little alcohol would help me open up a bit, and with a game like this, it might be needed. Free beer is coming right up. Yep, off he goes. Hey, did I miss anything? You almost missed a warm beer. You want a bottle? Sure thing. Are we doing anything or just sitting around? We were just getting ready to play a game of spin the bottle. Oh, cool. No, wait. Did you say spin the bottle? Why do you want to play that? Because it's a lot of fun! And gets people closer to each other! Well, you could say that. Travis slowly looks around the room, clearly puzzled. I don't think I'm up for it. Sorry. Huh? Why? I mean, do you really want to play a kissing game? Huh? What do you mean? Isn't Spin the Bottle the game where you kiss the person the bottle points at? <laughs> I love the realization. What? No! You're supposed to ask a question or give a dare to a person the bottle points at. Oh, so it's just truth or dare. Wow, I was really confused here for a moment. That's fine, then. That should be fun. So for a start, we need a bottle. Anyone finish their beer yet? Lake looks around the room, but no one replies. Okay, I can fix that. He raises the bottle to his snout and downs the remaining half of his beer in a few big gulps. Damn. Okay, everyone ready? About the rules, no taking back, no altering the questions or dares after they're asked, and anything goes. Sounds fine? All fine. How are we going to decide who goes first? Hmm, we could use an app or roll a die. Does anyone here have a die? Uh, could I go first? That would solve the problem. Oh, sure, go ahead. Travis makes some space in the middle of the table and takes the bottle from Lake. He spins it enthusiastically so that it almost falls off the table. Oh, Miko, looks like you're first. Truth or dare? Let's go with truth. What's on your favorite mug? A dolphin. I bought it for myself when I started studying marine biology to remember why I started. And why did you start? Dolphins fascinate me, and I'm sure meaningful two-way communication with them is possible. That's, why I, that's what I'd like to work on, but with all the material we have to learn, it's easy to forget why I'm here. Ah, I see. You can spin the bottle now, Miko. Miko spins the bottle, but stop squarely on Lake. Truth or dare? Hit me with your question. What's the stupidest thing you've ever bought? Oh, that's an oh, not an easy one. Hmm. I'd say the fancy coffee machine I got when I moved to the dorm. Oh, right. This has always puzzled me. Lake has a shiny espresso machine with a grinder in his room at the dorm, but I've never seen him use it. I thought a nice quality coffee would help me with studying, but... That was just a rationalization. I just always wanted to have one because they look so cool. It turned out I don't like espressos and it requires a lot of maintenance, so I just have instant coffee and brew it in oat milk and with sugar. I find it hard to believe that anyone can enjoy black coffee other than extreme masochists. This time the lion spins the bottle and, and it stops at Torolf. Oh, Torolf! Truth or dare? Let's start with truth. What was the time you spent the most what was the time you spent the most money on one meal? I actually remember that well. It was in Thailand at a hotel restaurant specializing in seafood. I generally don't eat fish, but I have, I've heard raving reviews about the place and had to visit. The hotel was in a skyscraper, and the restaurant itself was on the second highest floor, so the views were stunning. Thailand is ridiculously cheap, and I was there with two friends and paid for everything, and we didn't hold back ordering. Aw, that must have been nice. Uh, just visiting Thailand sounds cool enough, but this sounds so good. Okay, my turn now. The bottle spins and stops on. Garvin! M me I gulp loudly, feeling strangely vulnerable under Torolf's gaze. A question, please. And I await my sentence. How many partners have you had? Oh, this isn't that bad, because the answer is simple. Well, zero. I haven't had any luck yet. I started to understand my sexuality rather late. Before moving out, I hadn't really found the courage to try to find someone else to explore it with him further. Oh! 
Torolf seems almost taken aback, as if I'm just completely sh as if, as if I've just completely shattered his image of me. It's not that weird, is it? There's nothing wrong with being a late bloomer. Now it's my turn. The bottle spins around a few times and stops squarely on Lake. Oh, maybe a question for me? Sure. Let me just think of something. Why'd you move to Norway? Well, I wanted to move somewhere for studies. It didn't matter much to me where. But Norway seemed nice, and I liked this university. I'm glad I applied. It's not that vastly different, though. Not very exotic for a Finn. Yeah, but it was easy. Almost everyone here speaks English, and Norwegian isn't even that hard. And I appreciate that the people here are very open-minded. Excuse me. Also quite close to home, in case you'd like to pay a visit. Well, that's unlikely, but I'd rather not get into it. Sorry. Travis nods and doesn't say anything more. Nobody does. In any case, that's just one stop. Three years here, and then I'll see. Now, Lake grabs the bottle. Okay, so let's back up. All right, and what do we got? What's your favorite food? Spaghetti. Definitely. It's so easy to make and so delicious. And there are quite so many different recipes for it. One time I made a traditional Italian spaghetti with Swedish meatballs. It was delicious. You're spoiled for choices, for choices even more so if you eat out. Lake's kitchen experiments that I have witnessed in the dorm spring, the dorm spring back to my mind. If that's the gold standard of food for him, then I'm worried about him. Maybe he got better in the meantime. I hope. Now Lake grabs the bottle and spins it. All right, back we go. Oh God, how many partners have you had? Maybe that's a bit personal, but the rules said everything goes, right? Well, let's see. Do I have to tell? If you're really uncomfortable with the answer, I can change the question. No, that's fine. So, five. Five. Huh. The lion wastes no time. Damn. These weren't all very serious encounters, though. I want to recount some. I ask, well, I ask almost automatically, but as I do, something weirdly unpleasant flutters in my chest. Instead of stopping me, it only makes me more curious, though. Yeah, that's how that usually goes. Hey, that would be a dare, or at least another question, and that's against the rules. <laughs> you little shit. Oh, I do want to know, though. I bet Torolf is... Uh, yep. What makes you most happy? I love traveling, and I love food, and I love spending time with friends. Oh, and I like Korean films. They're really something else. I can't really explain it. It's kind of as if their works had a completely different emotional range. Same with Japanese films. Huh, I don't think I've ever seen any. I could show you some cool ones later if you're up for it. Now Lake grabs the bottle and spins it. And the last one. Have you ever done anything improper in a sauna? The very notion of it seems absurd, but I've seen some artwork revolving around the idea, and I'm curious if it's something that anyone actually does. Hmm, let's see. Hmm. Hmm. I think I already know the answer. Does, does drinking count? No. And yes, anyway. But I'd rather not talk about that here. Mental note, Grill Lake about this later. Now Lake grabs the bottle and spins it. The bottle spins around a few times and stops on... Me! Oh no, I know that smile. Oh, fuck you, Lake! Ha! Ah, payback time. Truth or dare? Uh, let's do truth. Have you ever considered dating a guy? Lake? Lake? Why must you do this to me? Well, I, uh... Yeah. I don't say I don't have to say anything more than that, do I? But if I wanted to come out of the closet, what could be a better occasion than this? It's been basically given to me on a silver platter. And maybe just maybe Lake asks because he's gay himself? I think that if I had to date someone, it would be a guy. I speak out before I have a chance to start second guessing myself, but as I finish a way a wave of cold shiver washes through my body. My heart sinks and I look down, anticipating others' reactions. Nice! Nice? Um, I look around, but it doesn't seem like the news shocked anyone. In fact, I don't think anyone cared much. Until I make eye contact with Miko and he looks away, his blue eyes cold as ice. My heart sinks again, focusing on Lake. I forgot he was even here. His face betrays no emotions. What does he think of me now? I try to catch any, I try to catch any eye contact with him, but he stubbornly looks somewhere in the distance. I'm sorry, I think I need a moment. Can someone else spin instead? I stand up and bolt out of the room, not looking back. Oh. Wow, that didn't go well. Uh, let's save that right there. Okay, I want to go back and do the dare and see if that goes different. Okay, dare. Promise me to treat me to a visit to a cafe when we're back? 
Is that even allowed? I look at Jorgen, seeking some help, but he only nods it gravely. It's not something I wouldn't want to do, it's just a weird way of getting to it. Is like asking me to ask is like, like asking me to ask him out? Okay, I think, but I'm choosing the place. Deal. Oh, okay. Let's uh okay. So let's uh load that. That was an interesting place to stop it, so. I find myself in the corridor a moment later, leaning against the wall. Why did he look away? The wall is rough under my paw pads. I press my head against it, and close my eyes. Does he finally understand why I cut ties with him at the end of, at the end of the middle school? Like a jigsaw falling into place. His last few years are all making sense now. I hope he sees it all. I hope I'm at least spared the humiliation of recounting it to him. A sound catches my attention, piercing through the right, through the raising, ringing in my ears. Soft paw steps muffled by the carpet, then silence. Hey, everything okay there? Lake, hey there. So, not really? I'm sorry. It's not your fault. Nothing you did. That wasn't too much for you. I hope that if you that if you did and didn't want others to know, you'd just lie. I know it's against the rules, but who would even know? No, it's not that. Don't worry. If I was ever to come out to you all, it was maybe the best occasion I'd ever get. Lake nods meekly, his sense of guilt still biting at him. You've done this before, right? Or are you still in the closet? Well, no, not really. Still mostly closeted. Oh, it must have been a very serious thing for you. I'm sorry. I just wanted to probe a bit discreetly. Because, you see... Ah, so at least my guess was right. It wasn't very discreet, you know. I bet. Again, I'm sorry. I don't know what I was thinking. In any case, I see you're worried, but it wasn't a big deal to anyone. Nobody reacted in any way, and we were only surprised that you fled the room like that. Anyone except Miko. But I guess I have to head back and tackle this somehow. You want to go back? You want to go back? We stopped playing and we're we stopped playing and we're waiting for you. I think I can. Yeah. Thank you, Lake. I pulled the lion in for a hug. He smiles and drapes his arms around me in return. Long like long like tree branches, but wrapped in soft fur and flannel. It's been a while since I've done this with anyone except Miko. But Lake is much taller and just bigger all around and I can snuggle myself into him easily. He feels solid and firm, and I hold on to him tightly. Slowly the tension leaves my body through my limbs and dissipates. Come on, let's head back. The room falls quiet as Lake and I return, but the others look at me with kindness and some curiosity. Even Miko doesn't shy away from eye contact, though I still can't read him. Does he understand now what happened and that I had to leave him, or maybe he's even angry at me for it? I'm back. Sorry it took so long. You're all good. I return to the table, sit down and spin the bottle, not keen to remain in the spotlight for any longer. It spins a few times before stopping on. Jorgen. My mind flashes back to the surgery scars on his chest, but how many people here know? Would Jorgen want them to? I don't know, and I don't think so. Instead, instead of asking about something related to that, even though I'm curious about his experiences, I better ask about something unrelated. Uh, truth or dare? Dare, please. Your friend mentioned you played with a band. I'm curious about how you sound. Do you have a video uploaded somewhere? You could have just asked. I'd be happy to show you. Jorgen takes a phone from his pocket and taps up the screen with, a dex with dexterity, browsing for the video for just a few seconds. Then he turns the phone screen towards us and taps play. <laughs> a wall of noise backed a wall of noise backed banshee wailing. Punctuated by a drum by a drum machine's mechanical clatter, worthy of a demonic ritual assaults us. It seems to be coming from a bat-shaped cultist singer standing at the front of the scene, clad in dark robes, a microphone and paw. That has to be Jorgen. That's... that's... something. Something extraordinarily... something extraordinary, really. I don't think I've heard anything like this ever before in my life. It's abrasive, but mesmerizing. The kind of music that pounds you into submission and engulfs you if you let it. Can you send me the link? It's a local file where you we're yet to upload any of our concerts online. Besides, it's only a short clip. But I can give you a heads up when we if we I can give you a heads up if we get to play again somewhere. It's time for Jorgen to spin the bottle, which stops on. Oh, Lake. Truth or dare? Give me a dare too. Hmm, what to ask you? Oh, I know. Show us the last last picture in your gallery. Y Jorgen, C can I show it only to you? Hmm. No, that won't do. 
He already said show us. I can't take it back. Oh my, Jorgen is ruthless. I better not get on his bad side, ever. Uh... Like, thinks for a moment before pulling out his phone and unlocking it. The wide smile, he points the camera at us and takes a photo, then turns the phone then turns the phone towards us. Here, the last picture in my gallery. Oh, Lake. Hey, isn't that cheating? Shouldn't he show us the picture that was the last one when you were asking the question? I didn't specify that, so he gets off on a technicality. Too bad, I wanted to see what he was so sheepish about. Probably a picture of his dick. <laughs> Your turn now. Now Lake reaches for the bottle and spins it, almost sending it off the table. It stops before it reaches the edge, though it's top it's top pointing at me. Again. Carvin! What is it what is it this time? Truth or dare? Let's do truth. Hmm, let's see. What will the white main devil come up with this time? Oh I know. If you had to kiss someone who's sitting in this room, who would it be? Really? Is that a follow up to the last question? The way the question is worded, I'm making a decision as if it was for as if I was forced to kill kiss kill someone. <laughs> so if I was forced to kiss someone, so it's not like it means much anyway. Uh, we're gonna go back. Let's see what the dare is. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, the white. Oh, I know. Send a message to your crush if you have one. And it doesn't matter what I write. Nope. Not really. Still, it doesn't solve the problem that I don't know who I could send the message to. Do I have a crush on someone? I glance idly around the room, thinking until my eyes stop on the lion. My heart flutters ever so slightly. I haven't even thought about this before, but he's nice and cheerful and undeniably cute. This whole camp, knowingly or not, I sought his company. Do I have a crush on Lake? I look inwards, but can I even be sure what it is I'm feeling? Maybe it's curiosity after Lake pretty much admitted that he likes guys, too. His expectant smile is making me melt. In any case... I think I feel something towards this lion. A wave of cold sweat... A wave of, a wave of cold sweat wets my back as I take out my phone and tap a simple high in my conversation with Lake. I hope that he keeps his phone muted, otherwise I'm going to burn from embarrassment. In the near absolute silence, only a faint buzz can be heard. Travis, Torolf, and Jorgen perk up their ears, trying to locate the sound, to no avail. Lake, however, blushes deeply with eyes glued to the ground. D did you hear it? I close my eyes and wish that none of them noticed Lake's obvious embarrassment, but instead I hear a weird clicking sound. When I open my eyes, it's still dark. Oh. Wow. <laughs> what timing. What happened? I think we just lost power. It's likely just a small technical issue. I'm sure we'll get the power back in a moment. It's dark in the room, save for the warm glow of the fireplace. Huh, what's happening? We've lost power. It should come back shortly. Outages last below last below half an hour usually. Where'd Miko go? Half an hour? That's cool. Oh, I love power outages. Huh? What? <laughs> Alright guys, I'm gonna pause it right there. It looks like we finally let Lake know our feelings. Ooh. Ooh, oh, I can't wait. Alright, anyway guys, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribing that notification bell. Have a super thanks or a tip if you can, it always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!